Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having it. When I'm talking, I'm talking quietly because I'm in a place, of course, that requires someone to be quiet. And I'm trying to dodge the things that come out of my head in this video because of the lack of depth of field. But when I'm talking, I'm also talking about how life is for people. That life can be good, life can be bad, life can be wonderful. It's about who's in our life. It's about whether or not we're producing the life we're destined to produce. In life, sometimes we don't find our life path to lay with other times our paths are thwarted by people. That is why we talk about the mayhem of life. You see, mayhem is generally caused by people, not by our Lord. Of course, there are life lessons that we're all supposed to learn and that God gives to us. But usually, if we're on God's path, we're producing wonderful things. In my lifetime, I've produced a lot of wonderful things, but someone continues to steal them to ruin them. I've just looked on a thumb drive where I put a lot of extra content and videos and I found that it's all been moved, completely moved off that thumb drive. Now let's talk about how that's possible. I stayed over the weekend at a hotel on the kindness of someone. And openly, apparently, allegedly, while I slept, someone got into my clothing and took my thumb drives and did things with them. The only person who would have a key, of course, would be the front desk person, a person who paid for the hotel room, or a law enforcement officer who violated my rights and federal law by coming into my room without my consent or permission and got into my clothing without my consent or permission. You see, I don't usually sleep where there's a place to have a computer. So the only other option would be that when I'm online in a public place, in a public venue, someone is violating my rights, such as a librarian or some of technological skill in getting onto my things. But it's sort of impossible because in order to move something from one thumb drive to another, you have to have both thumb drives in a unit to do that. And that implies that someone put something in my food so that I would not hear them enter the room and I would not see them doing what they were doing. And they might have done it during the hours of my sleep, which would be about five. So the reality is it's very possible to make that change in a matter of minutes, but it's not lawful. The psychological abuse is unreasonable. The hits on my life are unfounded. And the reality is there's no person that one can tell about this because of the litigation abuse I've experienced. And mental health attacks that people are putting on me so that they can be in control of my life as opposed to allowing me to be in control of my life. When I talk about this, I'm really concerned about the fact that there's no law out there that says my rights to me are begin and end with me. And that's sort of why I'm producing this law called Mark's Law. It's in honor of my late brother who died at age 12. I literally don't know exactly how it happened or why it happened or exactly the true nature of the effects because Back then, they didn't do a lot of autopsies. All I know is the story that I was told by my father, that he was given an aspirin because he had a headache, and his throat, because of throat cancer, closed around the aspirin, asphyxiating him. And that was hard for my father to watch, father to watch when the ambulance driver, or whoever he took him to, to try and revive him, worked on him many, many times to try and bring him back. Now we all presume that he's up with the Lord in heaven, but we don't really know, right, if unless we have a faith that believe that there is a spiritual world. For some of us who are metaphysists, we absolutely know there's a spiritual world. We also know that God moves the hand of everything, including all nature. And the reality is sometimes people get harmed by nature because they're not in tune with it, or they're just too arrogant to think that nature can't harm them. That's what happened, of course, to the late, uh, late crocodile D, uh, tro crocodile Hunter, if you will, and I'm not sure it was Crocodile Dundee, but sort of like that, if you will, Steve. And we all know who he is, and his family has continued on his legacy. He was in an element he wasn't accustomed to, and he was too close to something he shouldn't have been that close to. And it nailed him, or someone pretended it happened. We don't know. The reality is we only know the stories that we're told. So in life, we have to decide who's right, the Lord or man. And that's really the only lesson today that I'm talking about is... If in your life everything is going super well, then maybe you're doing what God wants. But if in life you're humble, you don't have as much as you'd like, you're worried about the future for yourself or your children or anything else, then maybe you're not quite on God's path. There's a lot of pastors out there in mega churches who feel they've got all the God's gifting that they can possibly have because they're doing well, they're paying for their lives, but they may not have retirement because they're not putting things away and because they're not teaching about how to be more in God's house. In life, we have moments of time to make a difference for someone, to just allow them to be themselves, to allow them to have our life in their life, and vice versa. Because the Lord pairs people and partners them with purpose. And when we take those things away, we ruin lives. 
in life who have moments of time to be more, to be or less to be. And there are people who literally just thought they keep monkeying around in my opportunities, meaning I have a storage unit, and I keep going in and finding that they're taking my underwear, they're cutting my clothes, they're sizing my shirts, they're turning cuffs around beautiful shirts that came in from China for me long ago, and that still fit. And openly, I've got a mother who thinks that a 4X is too large to me because she didn't realize the shirt came in from another country, where 4X is the right size in this country. So the reality is, it's sort of annoying that rights are being violated even by my mother. But in life, we have time to make amends. We have time to forgive. We have time to talk. We have time to eat together. We have time to produce a meal for someone who's in need. We have time to say, hey, let's go get a bite. We have time to be that little miracle in someone's life. As I heard a pastor say the other day, he almost had a perfect sermon. The only problem was he forgot to talk about Jesus in the final points. And I was sitting there in awe and shock while I was getting reading the entire time. Like, see, he did this great, but look where he failed here. I'm like, Phew. Gosh, I can't tell him that. He wouldn't believe what I heard. And that's the truth. But I can say it out on YouTube land because I'm out there and I'm an entertainer. That's what what I do is in Indiana. And literally, if you'd like a reading for your life, then I'm happy to give you one. If you'd like Pluto Consulting, I can definitely do that. And I've already written off my suggestions to people that I think needed a little bit of guidance. I'm pretty sure what I'm seeing is them taking my comments that are out there. And that's good because it's producing results, I believe. But in life, we also have the megastars who can make millions overnight, but they don't talk about anything they believe in. You sit there and wonder, is it because they look good? You see, we can't have people who look good in Hollywood being in president. We have to have people who know how to talk, who know how to think, who know how to do it on their feet, who know how to preserve peace, not only in America, but also in the rest of the world. And there's a couple ladies out there who sort of get that, and I'm pretty sure that the Lord wants in that White House. It's time for a female president for sure. It's time for someone who understands the earth, absolutely, because we're losing our food. And we disregard the workers who handle our food. And we allow foreigners to handle our food, which is risk. We also allow audio engineering to happen in our lives, which really harm us. And high pitches can do that. We can monkey with the mind, you can deplete the memory, and people utilize that to be in control. And we have, don't have enough laws to protect us yet in Indiana. So that's what I'm talking about today. Laws, technology, and the right to our own personhood without someone interfering with what we wish to do with our own self, our own beings, our own bodies. It's sort of like women's rights, but women's rights are about women. Men's don't have a men's right movement. We don't because we sort of always had that, unless it's one man to another. And then there's always a one ups from the game, and it gets old. Even in churches, there's that. We need to be performing in a mode of peace, in a form of honoring the spirit and soul. God put in each individual man and woman that's out there. Well, this is Blake Jensen recording a simple little audio talking about life and probably squinting because I don't have my glasses on and I'm trying to read a screen and it's not going all that well, but it's okay. I'm being authentic, I'm being real, and I am homeless, so I don't have to look my prettiest right now. Thanks for listening.